Thanks, Eric. Back on the naturopath. Thanks for coming back. Is turmeric any good for SIBO? Well, turmeric's uh, a spice, which is fantastic. It's been used for so many conditions. If you go to Google and look up, uh, do some uh, Googling, some searching on studies on turmeric and uh, IBS, turmeric and Crohn's disease, turmeric and colitis, there's definitely a link there with turmeric affecting people positively. But what I find interesting is when people read these sort of things, they straight away go to an Asian grocery store or the supermarket, they'll buy a pound of turmeric, they'll start taking tablespoons of it every day, thinking it's gonna like cure their disease. It doesn't work like that, okay? You can't put large amounts of turmeric into your diet and expect to, you know, it to work like that. Small amounts, regularly in the diet, uh, use it in cooking, uh, it certainly works. But remember, your body, you've got to get used to this spice, all right? Put it in there slowly and build up the quantity, okay? Unless you've grown accustomed to turmeric or had this really, you know, in your family traditionally for a long time, you're not really going to take to it that well. Most people I speak to who start taking turmeric up in their diet, you know, beginning to take it, take too much and get all kinds of bowel problems as a result. So I'm saying start off with a very small amount and have it every now and then and see how it goes. All right. Turmeric and ginger belong to the same family. <clears throat> I will often recommend both of these interchangeably uh, to be used up to one to two teaspoons per day in conditions, in severe conditions like rheumatoid arthritis or Crohn's disease. These are like bad autoimmune conditions with significant pain levels. So I don't care so much about the bowel in this case, the effects of turmeric on it, but more the anti-inflammatory effects. And it definitely works if you take it regularly, regularly, regularly. There are many ways you can take turmeric. Some people say you need to add a bit of fat compound with it for you know to work better. I mean, if you think about turmeric, it's always been traditionally used in curries and cooking with involving oils and coconut oil and ghee and things like that. So it probably works better with fat. And uh, you can certainly make up nice lentil dishes <coughs> with turmeric. It partners well with coriander uh, and other spices, uh, mixed spices for sure. But yeah, uh, the question is, is it good for SIBO? I would say absolutely. But remember, incorporate small amounts in your diet to get that nice low-grade anti-inflammatory effect. Small amounts of turmeric regularly in the diet uh, purportedly work as good as ibuprofen in terms of their ability to reduce inflammation in the body. Uh, turmeric's not gonna do so much for the uh, bacteria in there, but it's certainly gonna help to bolster up uh, certain immune aspects uh, in the small intestine. So. But yeah, I would say it's definitely a good uh, product to incorporate in your diet if you have got SIBO. Thanks for tuning in.